Hi everyone. Thought I'd introduce you to the smallest member of my telescope family. So this is a Stellar View SV70T. It's like the little engine that could this thing because it's uh, mighty and powerful. So what we're looking at here is a refractor. And you've seen the big telescope I've showed you last time, the Newtonian. Well, this is a refractor. Basically, light comes in one end and the camera's at the other. So no mirrors, nothing fancy. It's just straight through to what's going down to the, uh, down to the chip. Now, specifications, it's a 420 mil lens, but with this flattener reducer on the back of it, it becomes a 336 mil lens at f4.8. So it's fast and it's wide. The field of view I can capture with this is two by three degrees. Now that's a fair chunk of sky. Now you might look at that and think, that's a fairly long lens, but in actual fact, in astronomical astrophotography terms, it's pretty wide. So with this, I can fit in, for example, the entire running chicken nebula, most of Eta Carina, um, and a whole bunch of other wide field targets. In fact, you know what's really cool about this scope? I ordered it from America, literally picked it up from the TNT depot on the way to a star party at Snake Valley, set it up, shot an image, APOD, straight out of the box. How's that? First light was an APOD. Pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Um, since then, it's gone on to create two more APODs, so that's three with this little baby. And that's pretty impressive for a little thing. Now this is about 2000 Australian dollars, or at least it was four years ago. I believe it's now been recently discontinued. There's a new model on its way. So you can check on the stellarview.com website and check that out for yourselves. But what I liked about this is that it kind of shows that you don't really have to spend a huge amount of money on astrophotography when you can get a little rig like this that works so well. And the little focuser that it comes with is pretty stock standard, but it's robust. It's a rack and pinion focuser. And, you know, I can hold it at zenith, loosen it off and it won't move. It's, it's pretty darn solid. And it's really just a, a little powerhouse, this thing. So that's the smallest telescope in my inventory. And uh, it looks a bit crazy over mounted here on the big Takahashi Mount. But uh, stay tuned. There's a new telescope on its way to go with the new camera that I showed you last week. And uh, I can't wait for that. So in the meantime, we're punching out the images with this little baby and I hope you like them. Anyway, 